Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Charles K. Campbell, and welcome to LACC Presents. This evening, in conjunction with the Los Angeles City College Cinema and Television Department, we present to you a very special treat, a performance that equals none other. Brian McComb and Robbie Puyese performing Ayunos Ojos, Brian on vocals, and Robbie accompanying in the guitar, with the guitar. Another round of applause, please. Hacen que mi alma tiemble de amor. Son unos ojos tan aprimorosos. Ojos más lindos no he visto yo. Hay quien Hay quien pudiera besarlos más, gozando siempre de sus estrellas y no le dirálo te adoro con afrenasí y yo les digo que mi entrañante que hasta la vida daría Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Rabbi Pugliese on guitar, please. Rabbi Pugliese. Very, very, very good friend of mine. Very, very talented guitar player. That song was Ayunos Ojos. Thank you, Charles. That song was Ayunos Ojos, uh, a very old song from uh, Mexico, from Mexico, um, early 1900s. This next song is called Torna Soriento. It's uh, from Naples, Italy, Napoli, as they say in Naples. It's not Italian, it's a, an Italian dialect, Napolitan. The song is about a woman who has left the city of Naples and left this guy. And this guy is, he's, he's suffering, he feels like he's gonna die. And so he's beckoning for her to come back, come back to Naples. And he's describing how, what a beautiful, you know, how could you leave this beautiful city? How could you leave me, you know, come back so that I can live Sia chi stu arance, un profuma così fino, d'indocore se ne va, 
e tu dici o parto a Dio, talora le vasto core, dali a terra dell'amore, e la forza ti lascia, ma non me la sai, non è d'archisto tormento. Torna su riento, fama compa. Guarda a chi sto certino, si anda sia chi sto arance. Un profumo così fino, di no cuore se ne va, e tu dici o parto a Dio, talone da nevasto cuore, dali a terra dell'amore, hai la forza. Questo tormento torna su riento, fama comba. Ok. Our uh, last song, our third song and final song is called Return to Me and it will be sung a little bit in English and the last part in Italian. Uh, it's another song, uh, Return to Me, it's another uh, guy trying to get his woman to come back. Um, this song reminds me of uh, something my father told to me once. Uh, a while back when I was younger I was having an issue with an ex-girlfriend and I went to my father for advice just to figure out what to do. And I was prefacing the situation, and, and before I could even get to what was going on, my dad stopped me and he said, are you going to ask me advice about women? <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's you're my dad, of course. Yeah, I'm going to ask you for advice. He said, I, I, forget it, I can't help you. Um, and he said, I've been married to your mother for over 30 years. I still have no idea what's going on. But he did, he did say this. He said, if you really care about this woman and you want to make it work, you're going to have to learn to say two words. I'm sorry. So even if you don't know why you're apologizing, even if you don't know why you apologize, you just got to say, oh, you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Return to me. Yeah. 
Yang itu, yang itu, solo tu, solo tu ni aku. I great, great job. Okay, so we have a few questions that the um, audience during the break had asked. And uh, our first question comes from our newlywed couple over here, Nefertiti and Seth. And they would like to know what drew you to this type of music? Uh, Brian, we'll start with you. Um, I guess when I, fir I first started listening to um, Italian music in high school, when I was in, um, a senior in high school, my grandfather was an opera singer, and um, for my my senior year at my school, we all had this big project that we were um, supposed to do. We spent the whole year on it, and we get to sort of make up the project, whatever it is, and then we give a presentation at the end. And I chose, for whatever reason at the time, I chose uh, to do a, a project on opera. And at the time, I was not into opera. I played football, and I, I had absolutely no interest in it. But as I started to research it, I started to listen to it. And um, as I started to listen to it, I, I sort of just felt something inside. It just, it and yeah, and I, yeah. so then one, um, one day at our, my house, I just, I started singing along. And my parent, and I just was letting it out. My, my mom came running in and she said, was that you? What the, f what was that? <laughs> and uh, it was, and she said, so then after a while they, they offered to, um, find someone to give me some lessons and so and then at the uh for the end of the project i decided to sing um at the presentation and then after that i just i felt like i i love to do it i always well it's, to do it's it. a good thing it's a good thing they did ask was that you yeah. and give you less you have a wonderful voice thank wonderful. you thank you Charlie. robbie yes, sir. robbie how, how how did you two meet and what what this collaboration there's something magical you guys have tell us about it please uh well we let's see we met at a restaurant we were working at, an Italian restaurant in Pasadena, and we uh, both had common interests in music, and okay. we just mostly hung out, actually, and, and realized that uh, we wanted to maybe try something, collaboration. Mm -hmm. So we recorded a song, which was Ayunas Ojos. Okay. Um, we recorded that in the studio, and... It took I, us like 10 minutes to come up with a little... Arrangement? arrangement yeah, yeah, the arrangement came quickly, um, just trying it out, and, okay. and kind of was just like, voice and guitar it was something that I had never really done before mm -hmm. mostly in bands and stuff like that so this was something new and it really gave us a chance to showcase what we do what we do individually as well as together okay, good, so I, good. I thought it was a nice uh, nice it duo works, it, yeah, works. it worked out now, I'm sure you gentlemen have other interests besides music uh, again we'll start with you Brian what 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 do you do for a hobby <coughs> what the audience has, has asked that question a hobby um, well, I mean, right now I'm I'm uh, it, the main part of my life right now is focused towards boxing and fighting, wow. boxing professionally. Wow! And, uh, what, and middleweight? Middleweight. Yeah. Middleweight. Yeah. Middleweight. Yeah. yeah. I middleweight. knew it wasn't heavy, so. No. <laughs> yeah, middleweight. Okay. Good. Yeah. Or welterweight. I even I was offered a fight <laughs> a couple months ago at junior middleweight, and I I took it, but then the fight never happened. But have you have you had any professional fights? Not yet. No. Okay, so I'm we're still. Good. Looking for the please let us know. Way. Let us know. We'll, we'll come so, and support you. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, you. okay. Uh, you can follow Brian and Robbie on their Twitter site. And for our last few seconds, we'll allow Robbie to take us out with a few licks that he chooses of his choice. There's another version of Return to Me. Return to Me. Vieni tu, vieni tu, vieni tu, vieni tu, mio amor. Ritorna a me, cara mia, ti amo. Solo tu. 